friends, welcome to Netpad and Sasha. Today in this video, we are going to see about water cycle. Water is very important for the existence of life on earth. Without water, living organism cannot survive on earth. The water that exists today is the same water that existed a billions of years ago. That is why water is known as a limited renewable resource. Now, let's see water cycle in detail. Water cycle is also known as a hydrological cycle. It describes the movement of water from the land to the sky and back again. It follows a cycle of evaporation, transpiration, cloud formation, condensation, precipitation and water collection. Evaporation takes place when the sun heats up the water in the water bodies such as the ocean, river, lake, streams, pond etc. and turns them into vapor. As a result of evaporation, the water in these water bodies continuously changes into vapor. Plants need water to grow. Plants use a part of this water for preparing their food and store the remaining water in different parts. This remaining water is released in the air as water vapor by the process of transpiration. So, as a result, the water vapor enters the air through transpiration and evaporation. When vapor moves up, it gets cooled. At sufficient height, the air becomes so cool that the water vapor starts to condense and becomes tiny drops of water known as the droplets. These tiny droplets that remain floating in the air that appear to us as clouds. When vapor in the air gets cooled and changes back into liquid, then it is known as condensation. The process of condensation plays a vital role in bringing the water back to its earth surface. Precipitation occurs when many droplets of water get condensed so that the air cannot hold it anymore. Clouds get heavy and the water falls back. The water falls back in the form of rain, hail or snow. When water falls back to the earth, it may fall back on the ocean, rivers, streams, lake or it may even end up on the land. When it ends up on the land, it may either get soaked into the earth or it may run over the soil and gets collected back in the ocean, river, lake, streams, etc. Again, the water in these water bodies gets evaporated due to the heat of the sun and the cycle continues. This cyclic movement of water from the earth to the atmosphere and back to the earth makes up the water cycle. This circulation of water between ocean and land is a continuous process. This maintains the supply of water on land. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Also leave your comments below. I will meet you in the next video with the continuation of water. Until then bye bye from Sasha.